Hello class, we will now continue with our discussion in differential calculus. This time we have the topic higher derivatives or the higher order derivatives. Here we will just uh, derive continuously until we reach at the specified de uh, derivation that the problem is asking. So uh, from the previous problems, we have been uh, solving for the dy over dx or the f prime x or the y prime which is all called the first derivative of y with respect to x. Now if we derive the answer for the first derivative then we will be solving for the second derivative. Now if we solve or we derive the answer for the second derivative we will then get the third derivative and so on and so forth now let's uh, solve now the sample problems given from your given in your notes now for number one you have their y equals 7x raised to 5 5x raised to 3 plus 2x plus 1 so we are asked to find the fifth derivative of y so for this problem, for this question, uh, for this uh, uh, problem, we, we will be solving first for the first derivative. So for the first derivative, we have 7 times 5 because that is the exponent. Bring down the exponent, then minus 1 the exponent. Plus 5, bring down 3 x raised to 3 minus 1 plus 2 now x becomes dx over dx so that is 1 or we can just uh, leave it as it is the derivative 1 or constant is 0 now your first derivative becomes 35 x raised to 4 plus 15 x squared plus 2 that is your first derivative now the question is asking for the fifth derivative so we will continue until we reach the fifth derivative now for the second derivative we have there 35 bring down 4 x raised to 4 minus 1 plus 15 bring down 2 x raised to 2 minus 1 plus derivative of constant is 0. Now, uh, y deriv uh, second derivative of y now becomes what is 35 times 4? 70 plus 70 or 140. x raised to 3 plus 30x and that's your second derivative. For the third derivative, we have there 140, bring down 3, x raised to 3 minus 1, plus 30, dx over dx is 1, so that's already uh, 1. Or if you could recall, that is x raised to 1 minus 1, so x raised to 0 is equal to 1. So your third derivative becomes 140 times 3, that becomes 420 x squared plus 30. That is your third derivative. Now for the fourth derivative, we have there 420, bring down 2, x raised to 2 minus 1, plus derivative constant 0. So y to the fourth becomes 420 times 2 that is 840 x for the fifth derivative that is 840 because that is x raised to 1 minus 1 so that's already 1 so 840 is the fifth derivative of y so that is the final answer next for the Number 2, 
find the second derivative of x equals 1 minus uh, oh, square root of 1 minus t squared. Okay. So here uh, we can have uh, three solutions here, but we can just choose uh, whatever is easier for us. Now for me, I will just first um, transform this into 1 minus t squared raised to negative 1 half because square root is, is to be replaced by a 1 half exponent. Then you um, move the, this equation from the denominator into the numerator. So the, the exponent becomes negative. Okay. So for the first derivative, using the uh, power rule, we have there bring down 1 half. Uh, retain the base, copy the base, the exponent minus 1, then don't forget to derive the base. So the derivative of the base 1 minus t squared is 0 minus 2t, 2 minus 1. Now as you continue solving differentiation uh, in the uh, later solutions, we could just leave this portion here with, well, automatic, it becomes 1. So, either you write it that way or just come up with the answer uh, for easier or faster solution, then it's uh, up to you. The point here is for you to still be able to get the correct answer. Now, let's finalize this one. So, this is equal to negative 1 half 1 minus t squared raised to what is negative 1 half minus 1 that becomes negative 3 halves times negative 2t. Okay? Now, what is negative times negative that becomes positive then cancel out 2 here. So, the final answer for x prime or first derivative is t times 1 minus t squared raised to the power of negative 3 halves. Now we're not done yet there. We will still be solving for the second derivative. Always remember that we are looking for what is being asked in the problem. So we will be solving for the second derivative. Now, how do we solve this? Uh, how do we solve this problem here? By using the formula for derivative of a product. Why product? Because this is your u and this is your v. The entire uh, here is your v. Now, the pattern for derivative of product is so d over dx u v. That is copy u, derive v, plus copy v, derive u. Okay, so that is our pattern. Now first we have to copy u, so that is t, then derive v. So the one here, so that is bring down negative t halves, copy the base, negative 3 halves minus 1, then derive the, okay, so we're using double bracket, okay, so derive the base, which is 1 minus t squared, so that becomes 0 minus 2t, 2 minus 1, okay, let's close that one up, then the second one plus vdu, so v is uh, 1 minus t squared raised to the power of 3 halves then derivative of u derivative of t that becomes dt over dt and then this becomes 1 okay next simplify we have there t negative 3 halves 
times 1 minus t squared negative uh, wait, negative 3 halves minus 1 that is negative 5 halves then negative 2t plus 1 minus t squared raised to the power of negative 3 halves then uh, when we multiply negative 2t with this portion here we can cancel out negative because negative times negative equals positive cancel out also 2 so what's left here is 3t squared times 1 minus t squared raised to the power of 5 halves plus 1 minus t squared raised to the power of 3 halves. Then that is equal to, uh, since uh, there is negative exponent there, so we will bring them down. Negative exponent on the numerator means it becomes positive in the denominator. Now, negative exponent in the denominator means positive exponent when uh, transported into the numerator. So, since 3 has positive exponent, so we can retain it in the numerator as well as t squared because it has a positive exponent except 1 minus t squared. So, this becomes positive 5 halves. So, that means it belongs to the denominator. Plus, also this one has negative exponent, so we will bring it down to become positive. There. So, that is the uh, second term. Now, uh, that we are not done yet, let's find the common denominator. What is common denominator for this? At least, common denominator. So we have there 1 minus t squared because they have the same base. The exponent, the greater exponent here is 5 halves. So we will be copying 5 halves. Then since uh, the exponent is 5 halves in the first term, so we will retain 3t squared. How about the second term? So uh, how do we... Uh, what should we add for 3 halves to become 5 halves? So, that is 5 halves minus 3 halves. That is equal to 2, 2, or 1. So that means, if we multiply this, if we multiply this with 1 minus t, then 1 minus t squared there, that means that this becomes 1 minus t squared 5 halves. So we have there 1 minus t squared. Okay. So the final answer for this is 2t squared plus 1 and 1 minus t squared raised to 5 halves. So this is your second derivative. So that's what the problem is looking for. Now, uh, if you're more, um, uh, if, if the other solution is much easier for you, then it's up to you to use them. Whatever solution or method you would like to incorporate, just remember to always arrive at the correct answer. Having other option is good, that means you can easily check if your answer is correct. But in your paper, in your solution later on, you, you can only use one solution to save time or yeah, to save time in the solution sheet. But you can always uh, solve your uh, other solution in the scratch paper for if, uh, if the handwriting is not good. But I would lovely suggest that you improve the handwriting in the solution 
she ate. So that's all. We only have two sample problems for higher derivatives. Now stay tuned for the other topics. Thank you.